Okay, first method, you have the what I'm doing here. Edit mode, select everything you want to align, scale on the axis, you limit to the axis you want, and you hit zero to make the difference on that axis zero, so align. They are using, in this case, the medium point or the midpoint there between all of them. So what you can do to, for example, you want to bring them here, you have, if you want to move one, you have the option to uh, snap uh, vertex, snap to vertex, and you can uh, grab or G, Y to limit that axis and select the vertex you want to align to. You can do this manually, grab Y. Instead of using the medium point, you can use the active element, for example. So you select all the vertices you want to move. Then you shift select the last one. This is the active one. So they will align to the active one. S to scale on Y, zero. And since we are using the active element as a reference, they will align to it or the zero will be there. In this case, everything is working because we have an axis that is aligned to the orientation we want to align those vertices, but there are situations where you don't have that, so we are going to see those now. So we have this situation, but our uh, cube is rotated on X, let's say, and you want to make this uh, plane again. So you can take everything here, shift, select the last one, so we can use the active element that we just learned and we are still using global so if you grab uh, if you scale this on on c it won't work but if we scale in c and press c again it will use the local coordinates and you can set it to zero and it will work again it's like using this local and remember, you will cycle, scale, C, you will cycle between them uh, with, uh, with C, in this case, that we are locking to this axis. And zero. Okay. The last situation is one where we have an object where the global and the local orientations are not useful for us because one is like this and the other one is like this. So nothing aligns to this uh, vertex here. So what we can do is to create one. You have to select three vertices. So in this case, I will pick this one, this one, and this one. That will define an orientation. And at the plus here, you can call it whatever you want. Then once we have this uh, defined, we can Select, for example, all the vertices there. Shift select the last one to use the active element. And scale on C, zero. And as you can see, everything is flat now. And then you can select, for example, on this line, select the first, control select the last one. You can, we will use this as the active element and scale on Y in this case. As you can see, it matches our, because we are using our custom orientation. And you, you just uh, hit zero, enter, and everything is aligned. One, one thing that it's worth men mentioning is that you can, you can double tap the G to slide the vertex in any direction of the edge and you can use snap for to match another vertex or whatever and the tool that it's important maybe to I will show you let me move this around a bit and if you install uh, loop tools or activate loop tools add-on blender you can then select for example, this, all these uh, vertices, right click, loop tools, and you can flatten 
it will flatten the, the surface there. It's helpful also to, to create uh, circles, for example. You can insert R solar. And now you select this here. Let me remove this. You select this here, Loop tools, circle, and it will align them in on a circle there. And there's a bunch of other interesting options here. You can relax. Uh, you can use the bridge. is is interesting too. For example, uh, okay, C, not that C, this C, and you select this loop and this loop. For example, they have to match the number of vertices. Right click, bridge, you create that. But that's another thing. I hope this is useful for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.